vehicles, one of which was a full-size school bus. Upon arrival, uh, they did locate both vehicles. Uh, there were preliminary indications at this point are uh, there were four individuals in the uh, gray Hyundai sedan, and there were um, four, it's my understanding, there were four occupants of the school bus, the driver and three students. The students, I'm being told, are high school aged. Uh, one of those students was transported to the hospital with some injuries that are not believed to be extremely serious in nature. Um, all four occupants of the Hyundai were also transported to the hospital, uh, one of which is in uh, critical condition at this time. I've got investigators at the hospital right now speaking with um, uh, hospital personnel and the uh, original officers who responded trying to get some more information. We've got some other officers here at the scene talking to uh, witnesses and the driver of the school bus trying to find out exactly what occurred. What I can tell you at this point is the school bus, uh, preliminary indications are the school bus was uh, traveling eastbound on Ames. Uh, the driver attempted to make a left turn on a northbound 63rd Street, at which point its uh, right rear was struck by the westbound gray Hyundai. Uh, some witness statements indicate the Hyundai was traveling at an extremely high rate of speed. Uh, our investigators are working to confirm that uh, through roadway evidence. Uh, witness statements and uh, we'll examine the vehicles at a later time. That's what I know at this point. I'll get a press release out this evening as soon as we're done here at the scene. Okay. Um, can you repeat that again? So they were going, the bus was going to take a turn onto north onto 63rd and then what happened? The, the right rear uh, portion of the bus near the right rear axle was struck by the front end of the uh, gray Hyundai. So does it look like the school bus turned in front of the Hyundai? The school bus was making the left turn when it was struck by the west westbound vehicle. So I guess who's up fault here? If, if w w this very preliminary here, I, I just got here about five less than ten minutes ago. Uh, we're not going to at this point be inappropriate to de determine fault. We've got a long investigation. We've got to examine the the vehicles themselves, download the data, talk to more witnesses, talk to the occupants of the school bus. We're not going to make that determination at this point. That'd be too inappropriate. And the four in the in the car, they were all transported. All four were. Do you know the ages or approximate? I, I don't. I, I've got an accident investigator at the hospital. They're trying to gather that right now. Any indication that alcohol was involved? Uh, no indication at this we're point. Middle, we're still, uh, again, talking to medical personnel okay. who are with hey, the, guys, the injured middle. parties. Uh, so we're we'll know more the, soon. Is this a, is this a dangerous intersection, would you say? Has this happened? Uh, uh, happened? Me personally, I, I don't recall seeing a lot of accidents here. Uh, obviously, Ames Avenue, as you can see, it's a, it's a long stretch. There's a lot of intersecting roadways, a lot of traffic lights, a lot of pedestrian traffic. Um, that's kind of a recipe that could be a disaster if, uh, if people aren't paying attention to the road, uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing while they're driving. So that's what we ask all drivers to, to do. I guess the last one I had, did the weather have any factor in this outside? Uh, again, without talking to the occupants and uh, drivers and witnesses and download the data, I, I mean, I could only speculate. I would have no idea at this point. What about speed? Again, we'll uh, we'll look at roadway evidence. We'll download the data from the cars, the bus, if it's a downloadable vehicle. Uh, I wouldn't want to make a make a guess at this point until we have that evidence. So. Could you say spell your Sure, it's okh uh, Sergeant um, Chuck Casey, C-A-S-E-Y. I'll get a release out here shortly. That was Sergeant? Yes. All right, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't have your number for some reason. one of those students was taken to the hospital. There were four people in the Hyundai, the sedan that was driving eastbound on on Ames, and one person is in critical condition there. We're just getting this information, so we hope to get everything wrapped up here and give you a full report coming up tonight, live at 6. Hello. Reporting live from 63rd Names, Michelle Van Dorp, KETV News, Watch All right, trying, trying. We just got briefed by...
Okay, sounds good. All right, yep, no problem. All right. 